Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Mechacala, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam. Yeah. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Great. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Single collar 
tie now. Look at him yank. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on points. He is a master in transition. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nice hammer fist. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Got to be careful, arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Yeah, that's about as good as he's looked in the grappling realm, and he stayed focused on the arm bar. He kept going back to the well for it, and ultimately, in the middle of this fight, he gets the tap. That is a big finish for that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar 